In this presentation, we will describe seven applications of laser ultrasonics that have reached the hardware demonstration stage. These applications have enabled Optic Ventures to build a solid technology and engineering base and provide a springboard for ongoing and future factory applications. Please join us in exploring each of these applications. The first application is an inline wall thickness monitor for seamless steel tubes. The requirement was to monitor the wall thickness of hot tubes as they exit a forming mill. A measurement head containing both lasers is placed alongside the tube as it exits the mill. Both laser beams are directed to the tube surface and a shroud surrounds the measurement position for the purpose of eye safety. The left photo shows the measurement head being assembled in the lab. The head has provision for water cooling and an air purge. The right photo shows the head mounted in position on the line, in this case at 45 degrees. Note below that measurements can be made on hot tubes at a temperature above 1000 degrees and moving 5 meters per second. In this photo, we see a pipe exiting the mandrel mill. In the next clip, we show a video at this same position. In this video clip, the pipe will be moving from upper left to lower right. It is a little hard to see the tube motion except at the end, where the end of the tube and the mandrel move into view. Since the video goes fast, I will play it again. Here we have plotted the data as wall thickness versus position along the 16 meter tube. The laser ultrasonic data is plotted in red circles. After the tube cooled, thickness data was taken by hand using a transducer base thickness gauge. This data is plotted in the violet triangles. The data are in good agreement after accounting for an expected offset associated with thermal expansion. The second application is depth profiling of stress corrosion cracks in gas transmission pipelines. In this slide, we show a photo of a colony of stress corrosion cracks. These cracks appear close together with varying lengths. The crack spacing is too small to allow the use of conventional transducers for isolating a single crack. Laser ultrasonics has the benefit of very small spot size to interrogate a single crack at a time. For measuring the crack depth, we use the familiar time of flight diffraction technique in which we detect a wave that travels to the crack tip and then diffracts up to the surface on the opposite side of the crack. The time of flight and wave velocity can be used to determine the propagation distance. The crack depth is determined from this value and the known beam separation on the surface. We have simulated the waves that are generated and interact with the crack in this finite difference calculation. The laser generated waves start at the upper left. Longitudinal waves are shown in blue and shear waves in red. When the waves reach the crack tip, the diffracted waves appear as circles centered at this position. The diffracted waves eventually reach the surface opposite the crack where they are detected and their arrival time is determined. The strongest arrivals are longitudinal waves, but mode converted waves can also be detected. For scanning, both beams are moved parallel to an individual crack. In this video, we show both beams being scanned along a single crack. The beam spacing is 4 millimeters. 
the generation spot looks large only because it is overexposed. This is a B scan of the crack shown in the previous video. The crack starts at 4 mm and deepens at larger scan positions. The beams are scanned together along the crack. Note that the direct Rayleigh wave arrival disappears as the crack opens. The crack manifests itself as an increasing time delay of the lateral wave. We also observe a mode converted arrival. Using the B scan data and the measurement scheme described earlier, we have plotted the crack depth versus position. The crack deepens along the scan and reaches a depth of 2 mm at the end of the scan. We scanned another crack at a position where there was significant OD corrosion. We were able to measure the wall thickness along with the crack depth. This enables a realistic determination of the crack depth as a fraction of the remaining wall. We participated in an industry demonstration of a scanning laser ultrasonic system in Houston, Texas. A measurement head was mounted in a motorized platform that could be scanned axially and circumferentially. Since the cracks are mostly axial, this was the common scan direction. Our measurement head was only about seven inches on a side and was fully fiberized. In this video, we see our head scanning a single crack. The detection beam is at a wavelength of 1550 nanometers and so it is not visible in the video. In this slide, we show a raw B scan of one of the scan cracks, along with the crack profile as provided by our signal processing algorithm. The crack profile positions are aligned with the positions on the B scan. The next application is inline inspection of girth welds used for gas pipeline assembly. A macro of a weld with a center line crack is shown here. Once again, we are using time of flight diffraction for inspecting the weld. With adequate sensitivity, we should be able to see separate diffracted arrivals from the top of the crack and the bottom of the crack. The B scans on the welded pipes are complex because of the influence of the prominent weld crown. Nevertheless, in this B scan, we can see a prominent shear wave arrival at around 9 microseconds that extends over 100 millimeters. From subsequent sectioning and macros, we know there is a prominent center line crack at the right positions and depth. Furthermore, the prominent double peak of the crack arrival suggests separate diffracted arrivals from the top and the bottom of the crack. We performed an industry demonstration at the site of the Weld Process Development Organization. The drawing and photo show a short section of pipe fixtured for welding by a hybrid laser arc process. The weld head is on top and the laser ultrasonic measurement head is at about the two o'clock position. Both heads are secured to a stage that rotates counterclockwise during welding. The laser ultrasonic head is inspecting the weld about five seconds after it is formed. The measurement head is a little larger than the one used for SCC cracks because the generation laser was integrated inside. This is a video of the weld operation. The laser ultrasonic measurement head is acquiring weld data 
all the way around the pipe. The fourth application is inline monitoring of mechanical properties of steel strip. In this application, we are measuring mechanical properties of moving cold rolled steel strip through measurement of the wave velocity in the rolling direction. The measurement head is positioned under the strip with the beams directed in the upward direction. The measurement head integrates the generation laser and uses a single optical fiber link for detection. There is provision for adjusting the height of the head to focus the beams. This photo shows the measurement head in place in the line. The small blue hoses are for compressed air to maintain clean optics and to purge the interior. This slide shows a typical temporal signal. Multiple back wall echoes are observed, along with the Rayleigh wave and shock wave. The measured arrival times of the echoes allow an accurate determination of the wave velocity in the rolling direction. The fifth application is an inline pilot system for inspection of friction stir welds. Friction stir welding of aluminum components is seeing increasing use in a number of industries. High production speeds make it particularly important to be able to inspect in real time. Large aluminum panels for decking are much lighter than steel. The panels are assembled by butt welding several extrusions with stiffeners. Our inspection configuration once again makes use of waves diffracted from defects that occur within the weld zone. We have developed an inline pilot system and tested it in a production environment. The measurement and connecting cables are shown in the lower right in this photo. The measurement head is mounted to the weld head and moves at production speed. This video shows the start of a production run. The weld tool will start to rotate and then advance after plunging into the weld seam. The measurement head will start to acquire data once the beams cross onto the part. On the soundtrack, you will hear the ablation sound of the generation laser. The sixth application is inline inspection of additive manufactured parts. Additive manufacturing is a very promising technique for rapid, low cost production of prototype and production parts directly from a CAD file. Inline inspection can speed production and save the cost of post process inspection and scrapped parts. Laser ultrasonic testing has a number of benefits, including measurements on hot, rough, and moving surfaces using small spots that are compatible with layered dimensions. For detecting shallow defects in the deposited layers, 
we use guided waves that propagate underneath the surface. These waves scatter from the defects and are detected as perturbations to the temporal signals. The signals are then plotted as a function of position along the scan direction. In this B-scan, scattering from the simulated defects gives characteristic arrowheads for shallow defects, whereas deeper defects will show as parabolas. The B-scan on the left covers a real build and is directed over a side drilled hole. The parabolas represent scattering of longitudinal and Rayleigh waves from the buried defect. In the B-scan on the right, we have plotted the calculated position for a variety of scattered waves. This B-scan clearly shows the presence of a subsurface hole aligned in the direction of the scan. We can automate the detection process by measuring a figure of merit or defect parameter. When the value of the defect parameter exceeds threshold, a defect is detected. In summary, we have detected simulated defects in real builds produced by AM, and we have established a defect parameter that can be measured in real time to quantify the defect detection process. The final application is real-time measurement of fastener extension. The photo on the lower right shows a selection of fasteners used for aircraft assembly. Each fastener has a specified value of load or tension during tightening of the nut, but only torque can be measured during tightening, which can be influenced by friction. However, ultrasonic time of flight can be used to measure the strain during tightening, which can then be converted to stress or load. The temporal signals represent waves that travel to the opposite end of the fastener and return to the position of generation. The signals are very strong and can readily be used to measure the change in time of flight that results from loading the fastener. We have designed, assembled, and tested a miniature probe that mounts directly onto the threads at the end of the fastener. It is easily mounted and dismounted. The optics are completely contained, so the device is completely eye safe. In a test using a load cell, we found the expected result that the time of flight delay is linear with the applied load for all tested fasteners. No hysteresis was observed. We are continuing with several of the factory applications we have described and we are using our technology and engineering base for a number of newer applications. We are now working with major companies and government agencies to develop these applications. Many people have been involved in our activities, including the faculty and students at Tungji University in Shanghai, where we have established a joint laboratory. Thank you for your attention.